Richard Jean the fishing machine here. Yeah, got me a fly rod right here. And I'll show you what it is, how long it is. It is cold. But I need to catch a fish on it. Um, it's been years and years. I guess I was 12, 13 years old was the last time I ever threw one. So I'm rusty. It's something, just another way to catch a fish is all it is. But I'm going to get good at it. I guarantee you that. I'm going to show you what I got right here. I got stuff everywhere around the boat. This is called a TFO. And it comes as a combo. Fancy little rod, let me tell you. It is eight foot six long, four piece rod, light as a feather. And this is the reel that came on it. It already had the backer and the fly line. Now the tippet, I'm gonna show you the tippet I'm using. Or leader, not tippet. I said it wrong, it's leader. Scientific angler right here. It's a tapered leader. And it's a 3X, 9 feet long. And that's what I'm using right there. Now the tippet. I'm using, using Orvis line 4X. And it's a 6 pound test. And I'll show you my little rig right here. All right, this is a nymph right here, a tiny, tiny fly. Can y'all see that? That hook is probably a size 12, if I had to guess. The leader is around a foot. I have it tied to a popper right there at the back of the hook. Now, my connections are this trilene knot, and this is a palomar knot. And this one is a palomar knot. I like good, strong connections myself. Like I said, this is a Palomar knot, trilene knot, and a trilene knot right here. This is a popper, and this is the nymph. Little tiny thing, ain't it? Be a good one for trout, I imagine. But um, this is supposed to attract them, this popper, and this nymph is supposed to catch them. Now, he's a professional. He set me up with this and explained it to me. And, of course, that makes perfect sense. But he said, don't be surprised if you catch two at once. Both of them will catch them, the popper and the nymph. But sometimes you'll catch two at once. But first, we're going to have to find us a bed right here. Okay, folks, we got a bed right in front of us right here. Now, because of this front right here, the one that passed through last night, I really don't know how many fish is on it, but I figure there's probably a few right here. So let's strip us a little bit. Of, let's get some momentum going right here. There's the first bite. There he is. <laughs> I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let him get on the reel right here. That was easy, real easy. Now I tell you, this is a lot of sport right here. A lot of sport see what he looks like right here something hit right behind the boat I don't know what that was now we can just lift him he ain't that big there he goes that fish was fair that fish was barely barely hooked little bluegill there almost big enough to eat if I was hungry I'd eat him I guarantee you but um I was advised, like I said before, to tie directly to the hook like this. And I have a, um, that's a trilene knot. And right here is about a foot a liter, or tippet, excuse me. And 
there's our little bug that's going to do the job right here. All right. Look at here. Oh, they are some big brown in here, folks. There he is, too. There he is. <laughs> y'all know, oh my goodness. Oh, y'all gonna have fun with this. And been a long time since I've done this. I'm gonna try to let him get on the reel. Oh, he's still buttoned up. Been a long time since I've done this. But I'm going to tell you, I plan on doing a lot of it. Matter of fact, I want to be good. I want to get good enough to catch bass on it. This is pretty good bluegill right here. Pretty good one. Let's put him in the bucket. Really, it's a good one. Now that is a lot of fun. He hit that little nymph. For now on, I'm going to call that the little bug, okay? I, folks, I can't hardly say that. Nymph. That's a pretty good bluegill, and that's as big as my hand. Let's let him go. He'll get back on that bed and finish his spawn. Damn. So really what's happening right here, y'all were witnessing an old guy right here that ain't throw the fly rod in a many a year since he was a kid. And I used to kiss throw them, I guarantee you, I'm not kidding you, because we done it every evening, me and daddy, did. I want you to look, oh lord, has that ever happened to y'all stuff like that, my goodness, but yeah, every evening we'd go pond jumping, and I could, I could flat throw them, but now it's real awkward for me right now, so y'all are going to be learning with me, but it's all in the risk. I'll probably get about, well, let me get it on in there just a little bit more. I'll probably get it. Well, I ain't going to there. Right there is where I'm going to get a bite. Oh, one done flashed at it, folks. He got it. Now, that one feels like a good one. It sure does. I'm going to let him get on the reel. Feels like a real good fish. Okay, he's on the reel. That little maneuver I done right there, I'm glad that these little hooks is sharp in this nymph in my bug. Boy, that is pulling. My, my. I ain't gonna reel my fly line, my leader into my fly line. Look at there. That is a lot of fun. Right there, let's lift him up. Oh, me. I'm a beginner. But my drive to catch fish after three or four times, folks, I'm going to be good at this. I'll be catching bass. Look at there. That's as big as my doggone hand. Let's let him go. Go on back. This popper right here, all it's doing right now, now we could get popped with it could get popped with it we could get a strike on that but really it's just a strike indicator in this situation right here that little nymph is what they'll hit let's see i don't want to get real close to these fish if i can help it y'all see that? there he is there he is worry about the reel right here. I'm just going to strip him in. Got too much line laid in the boat now. That's a big one. <sighs> he won't quit, folks. There he is. That's a good one right there. That one hit a popper. Sure did. Come up there and eat it. That's, that one's big. Mm. I dread to tell him about this and I'm not kidding I'm not, I'm not just saying that just to have something to say I tell you what I like is to see them rise up they'll just stop and look at it and then pounce it you have time to see them actually inhale that bait 
but I'll tell you one thing that I do know. Any time a fish hits a top water bait, you want to give them time. You don't want to set the hook on the splash because if you do, whether you're fishing like this or for bass, you'll miss him. You'll miss him might near every time. You almost need to feel the fish or, in this case, hesitate a little bit. Man, that was a good cast. Getting better. And there's fish too. That's the way them, that's a good, that's one of them good ones I was talking about, I believe, folks. I had to get him out of that tree there. Look at there, look at there, look at there. I'm getting where I can get them cast out there straight. That's what you want. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Hit the popper. Seems like the better fish are hitting the poppers. So far, that's just the way it seems. Well, I'll tell you why. I want to show y'all something. Dang on it, I'm hooked up right there. That's a pretty fish, ain't it, folks? Let's let him go right there. The reason they keep hitting my popper is because my dead blame bug's gone. There he is. Now I've had him. We got us a shell daddy right here. Oh, he's wrapped up in there. There he comes. Wrapped up again. My goodness. I tell you what, there's no doubt in my mind, let's get back here and find him, that a shell cracker will out pull a bluegill without any trouble. Now I had trouble with that fish. Oh, I. Y'all fly, boys. Y'all don't, <laughs> don't laugh at me. I'm learning. Let's lift him in here. Yep. That fish gave me a fit. He got all up in all kinds of cover. What about that? Hit that little nymph, which isn't surprising to me, folks. When I use squirrel tail jigs, I use little bitty ones on a spinning reel. Small as I can get. That's a beautiful shell cracker. Let's let him go. I want to try to catch out another one of them if I can. They're up there ultra shallow. Real, real shallow. <laughs> Whoa. 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 My name's Frank Rogan. I'm with Rainbow City Auction in fly shop and we'll be happy to help anybody that comes along just give us a call and get out here on the lawn with us and let's do some catching folks that ended up being a lot of fun i tell you what there's a lot of different ways to fish and i'm going to do them all because fishing is a sport second to none i hate leaving got out here a little bit too late but I tell you what, I'll be back. I'm going to practice, practice, practice till I can put that fly up under them trees. We're going to catch some bass with them too. And I want to thank y'all very much for all the great comments. Everything y'all do for this channel. Y'all know the drill. And I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Hey. Woo. Because without him, we're nothing. We're zero. Thank y'all very much for everything. And, whoa. Can't tell you.